Hey there, Sally. Have you seen my transpose on 5 DNA sequence? I can't seem to find it anywhere. Sorry, but I bet it was transposed by transposes. I don't know how transposes works. Maybe you should ask Mr. Johnson. It's, it's Mr. Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why, hello there, Billy. You look worried. Maybe you can help me, Mr. Johnson. I, I can't seem to understand how transposes works. Whoa there, cowboy. Maybe I can help you. Remember when they found out that your friend Timmy and his family were communists? Yeah, and they went to prison. Do you remember what happened to all their stuff? The movers took it away. Exactly. Well... Transposes is the mover of the DNA world. Transposes comes, attaches to a certain signal sequence of DNA, and moves it to another place along the chromosome. But, but doesn't that mess up the gene? Sometimes. There are many mutations formed in this way, resulting in much of the variation necessary for evolution. Well, what does that mean for the future? Soon, Scientists can use transposes to move DNA between two sequences. By the 1980s, it should be possible to make many useful mutant organisms, such as unicorns and harpies. Y you could say that's not so much evolution as revolution. <laughs> yes, you could, Billy. Yes, you could. This message brought to you by Adlai Stevenson Educational Films and Slinky. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's Slinky. A spring, a spring, a marvelous thing. Everyone knows it's Slinky.